Welcome to Flix Studio Recaps, where we'll be summarizing the movie Red, White, and Royal Blue. The story begins with Alex Claremont Diaz, the son of Ellen Claremont, the first female president of the United States. He attends a royal wedding accompanied by his close friend Nora Callahan. Despite the grand event, Alex harbors strong dislike for his rival, Prince Henry, the king's grandson. Things take a comical turn during the wedding reception when Alex and Henry engage in a heated argument that results in both of them being covered in the wedding cake. This incident quickly becomes a media sensation. To control the damage caused by the press, Alex and Henry are compelled to participate in a series of interviews and public appearances, pretending to be friends. Their journey takes them to a hospital, where they interact with patients and, due to unforeseen circumstances, find themselves locked in a closet during a security threat. In this confined space, Alex opens up about his initial aversion towards Henry, which stemmed from a past encounter when Henry rebuffed him during a public event. Henry shares his own emotional struggles, revealing that he couldn't offer support at the time due to his own unresolved grief over his father's death. They apologize to each other, mend their differences, and exchange contact information, paving the way for a genuine friendship. At Alex's annual New Year's party, he witnesses Henry's sudden departure and follows him. Henry confides in Alex about his desire for anonymity in a world dictated by his royal status and unexpectedly kisses him. Confusion arises when Henry subsequently cuts off communication, leaving Alex puzzled and attempts to reach out unanswered. Their paths cross again at the President's Dinner, where they privately agree to embark on a Friends with Benefits arrangement. Following this, Alex is sent to Texas by his mother Ellen, who is seeking re-election as President. Only a select few individuals, including Princess Beatrice, Secret Service agent Amy, and their close friends Nora and Percy, are privy to Alex and Henry's relationship. After a significant political event, Henry is discovered in Alex's hotel room by Zara, the deputy chief of staff at the White House. She urges Henry to return to Britain, leading to Alex's revelation of his feelings to his mother. Ellen is supportive but advises him to consider the implications of his relationship with Henry on international affairs. Determined to make his feelings known, Alex invites Henry to his family's vacation home in Austin, where he confesses his love. However, Henry's complex royal obligations prevent him from fully embracing their love, causing him to abruptly leave and cease communication. Frustrated, Alex confronts Henry in Britain, leading to a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where they both admit their love but recognize the challenges ahead. The situation takes a dramatic turn when their private emails are leaked to the media, forcing Alex and Henry to cut off contact. Unexpectedly, Zara's involvement in a relationship with Henry's equerry, Sean, is revealed, bringing a surprising twist to the story. Alex rushes to Britain to reunite with Henry, and together they face a pivotal moment when the king informs them that their relationship contradicts the traditional image of the royal family. Despite this, a groundswell of public support outside Buckingham Palace encourages them to step forward as a couple. As election night arrives, Alex, Henry, and Ellen anxiously await the election results, and amid the celebration of Ellen's re-election victory, Alex and Henry share a touching moment. Ultimately, they return to Alex's childhood home to celebrate their love in private, solidifying the conclusion of their journey. Hope you enjoyed the movie, kindly subscribe to the channel for more thrilling movies and recaps.